Borick, board certified in internal medicine, and I'm here to keep you up to date on the latest information pertaining to your health and well being. Welcome to Doc Talk Radio. Joe, we have some really great guests in the studio today that I want to introduce you to. You know, we started the wellness program at the hospital. And part of the program, we have different um, modalities and, and programs. And today we have uh, Michelle Weiss and Sarah Medina here from the Jazzercise program and personal fitness and so forth. So welcome. Thanks for being here today. Thank you for having us, Dr. Bork. Thank you. You're welcome. Michelle, tell us a little bit about your background. I, I'm, I'm interested to hear everything that you, that, that you do and all of that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, my name is Michelle and I am a certified Jazzercise instructor. I also work for Jazzercise as a corporate trainer. Mm-hmm. So I have the opportunity to travel all over the nation and awesome. certify people to become instructors. For their, for yep. their corporations, for their companies? For, yes, for Jazzercise mm-hmm. Inc. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. correct. Mm-hmm. So a little bit of my background is um, I've been dancing ever since I was three years old. Wow. And I have a strong dance background. I've done a number of performances throughout my life, including the 1984 opening ceremonies at the Olympics. How awesome yeah. is that? Yeah. Wow. So I've been performing for pretty much all of my life. Um, I really like the stage and I like to have fun, but I also like to stay fit and healthy. Excellent. Yep. And you've really added a lot to our, uh, to our wellness program. So, you know, thank you for, for being part of it. Of course. We love the opportunity. Yeah, great. Sarah, tell us a little bit about your background as a fitness and personal trainer. And I understand you're also a National Strength and Conditions uh, Certified Practitioner. Uh, mm-hmm. Yes. Um, well, thank you for having me. Mm-hmm. And um, I am. I'm a certified jazzercise instructor. And I've been doing this for almost nine years now in December. Wow. And um, um, I started out doing the jazzercise as uh, a way to get back in shape after I had my son, my mm-hmm. first child, and mm-hmm. I was way overweight, um, even after all the baby weight was gone. So I decided I needed something and something fun that I was going to stick with. Um, so I had started, went, I took a jazzercise class, and I loved it because I always loved dance. Unlike Michelle, I was didn't have like a big dance background mm-hmm. um, growing up, so I was more of an athlete. I did sports, volleyball. Right. And um, I did it, and I loved it. And I started to do that. Um, I started dropping the weight from the baby weight, wow. so I probably had an extra... 50, 40 to 50 pounds to lose after. So, uh, so I started that, and then after about a year and a half, I uh, somebody had mentioned becoming an instructor, and uh, I d- pursued that. And mm-hmm. I thought, well, that's just not quite me, but you know, let's uh, let's go for it and try. I need to jump in and take a next challenge in my life. So, so here I am, nine years later. Neat. And then to add to that. Um, uh, three years ago, I decided, well, you know, I I love the fitness industry. I love movement. I love how fitness makes your body feel Mm -hmm. and you just feel better, healthier, Um, you know, your self-esteem increases. So I decided to kind of translate that as well into personal training. So I I went to um, personal training school. It was a national um, uh, personal training institute actually Mm -hmm. right in the city where I live. And they had like a six month programs and it was just focused on fitness on personal training so learning that Mm -hmm. nutrition um anatomy um uh, physiology physiology physiology, exactly so all of that so and then like um, hands-on um training so so i got my certification after i finished that and then i got a my national um strength and conditioning association certification Mm -hmm. personal training certification and so I'd been doing that now for three years, and I've done boot camps right. and just trained personal clients. That's and awesome. Wow, so. that's great. That, you know, I want to, one other thing, jazzercise. I hear jazzercise from both of you. So what is jazzercise? I mean, how would you describe that? That's a great question. Usually that's the first question we get. What is jazzercise and what is involved? Uh, jazzercise is a 60-minute total body workout okay. uh, where it's a group fitness environment, and it combines dance-based cardio with strength training and stretching, and that's to sculpt and tone and lengthen muscles for maximum fat burn. So our routines are choreographed, and uh, we are all certified in ja- awesome. through Jazzercise. And the most important thing is when you come to a Jazzercise class, you're going to have fun. Right. You're going to work hard, and you're going to have fun. And out of that, endorphins start flying. You know, music is up Absolutely. and running, and, and, and you start you feel better, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Yep, absolutely. You know, one of the things I'm interested in is uh, stress management, you know, how to protect the body against the effects of stress. 
And I would think jazzercise would be a would be a great way to do that. Would you agree? Is that something that absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely? I mean, when you come into a jazzercise class, all of your friends are there. Uh, there's no judgment. You're there to to work out and have a good time. Um, you're also, you know, creating those endorphins. So music just drives you, and mu music will move you. And it's it's almost like when you go to a concert and they're playing your favorite song right. and you reach that crescendo and you just feel so good you feel just like a right. bolt of energy that's exactly the type of environment that jazzercise provides you know a lot of people say well what do i wear mm -hmm. you know I mean, is there what tell me i mean you know because i'm going to be coming to the classes I, I don't know if you either one of you want to answer that question what, what do you wear <laughs> you know um i i encourage anybody to come in comfortable clothing you know it doesn't have to be you know a brand label or anything mm -hmm. or anything form fitting uh, just something that they can move around and okay. that's comfortable you know shorts t-shirt if they're comfortable in that tank top whatever or exercise workout gear so for our and staff they can wear scrubs basically they could wear scrubs. I mean if they're loose fitting as long as they're yeah loose fitting loose. and that allows a lot of movement because we do a lot of um, bending okay and, you know so and mm -hmm. then to, proper tennis shoes I think is the most that was my important other question. thing Okay. Because um, there's different kind of tennis shoes. You know, you've got running shoes that are made for forward back motion or forward motion. Mm -hmm. But we like to encourage like kind of like a studio shoe that's because we do a lot of lateral movements. Okay. So, so support something that's something good support. Something with support. Like a cross back, trainer. Cross maybe? trainer exactly. Okay. Yeah. Cross trainers would be perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Very very good. You know some of the health benefits of um, you know being that we're talking about dance. Let, let's talk dance, and then I want to really get to some of the strengthening and. Um, you know, conditioning that, that you have talked about, Sarah, but dance, what are the health benefits of dance? Well, besides burning calories and building muscle, I mean, dance is, just engages creativity. Okay. And mm -hmm. it utilizes your mind and not, not just your body. That's a great, yep. great comment. You know, for those of you listening, um, you know, as the baby boomer numbers rise and as we all get older each day, um, one of the things that I think we're interested in is how do we preserve our memory? How do we preserve our cognitive function? And it, you just, I think, hit the nail right on the head. To, to use the brain, to engage the brain uh, with movement probably would be the best thing that we could do, right? Mm -hmm. So you're, yeah. you're memorizing different patterns, or how, how, in what way? I mean, is that what so you mean? When you attend a jazzercise class, um, our routines are choreographed, as I said before, and the, the movements are repetitive. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so it is easy to follow. It's, uh, it's a workout where you're gonna come to class and you're gonna feel successful. Mm -hmm. Because not only does the instructor demonstrate mm -hmm. the movements physically, they're providing tips and education and cueing using a microphone, facing our customers, and uh, just helping them feel successful and you know, have a, having a bigger range of motion uh, during the movements right. and, and telling them where to place certain body parts and educating them on what muscles we're utilizing uh, during our workout. Okay, and I think that's important to protect and prevent injury. Yes. You know, as well. Yep. You know, Sarah, you, I guess you, you do a lot of uh, personal training, mm -hmm. right? When you assess somebody, just kind of give me a little idea of what is your initial assessment? What, what is an initial personal fitness test, if you mm -hmm. will, or assessment? What, what does that mean? Um, usually what I like to do is before we start, I like to uh, do a few baseline measurements, non-invasive, mm -hmm. so like um, body circumference uh, measurements, mm -hmm. so we can get a starting point, see where they're at, and a body fat a test, you know, and I just use the skin fold calipers to do that. Um, it's fairly accurate. And then uh, weight, of course. So mm -hmm. I know weight can can be various, you know, sometimes it's a good measurement, sometimes it's not because right. you could say the same weight but gain a lot of muscle and mm -hmm. lose, you know, lose fat. So, but we still want to kind of get that baseline to get our percentages. Um, so, th so it includes that and then um, I like to do just some basic endurance tests. So, um, how many sit-ups can you do in a minute? How mm -hmm. many push-ups can you do? So just basic like that. And then uh, flexibility, that's so, so important. Right. And a lot of people don't think that to put that into their fitness routine. Mm -hmm. But as we age, um, it just becomes even more important. And it's so much more um, noticeable because our muscles. And right. Do you work with seniors at all? Uh, yes, I do. Because mm -hmm. I, mean, yes. I would think a get-up-and-go test or balance, you know, mm -hmm. for w would be real important to prevent falls and, mm -hmm. and those kinds yeah. of things. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So we can kind of do some um, some basic uh, some basic uh, you know measurements and stuff to see you know what their balance is like. But a lot of the workouts I do um, engage a lot of core um, 
core strengthening because that's just I think it's more it's so important to mm -hmm. have functional movements in your exercise routine right. because um, you know we you know just besides sitting there doing a bench press you know it's very you know one movement that it's not doesn't translate necessarily always to real life I mean mm -hmm. of course if we're pushing something but um, so we I like to incorporate a lot of functional movements bending down stuff that they're going to do every day in the way to do that exactly. so that so that we protect our bodies yeah exactly that's great Less so we have, a, we have a question there uh, Cynthia from Florence wants to know can anyone get involved in the Jazzercise Wellness Program that's a great question and um, right now uh, you know yes and th the short answer is yes right now we're, we're going to be launching the program for the staff um, and it'll be right in the hospital, the Florence Hospital at Anthem. And um, very shortly, we'll be, you know, getting out flyers and information uh, to the community, to the local community to come in and join some of the classes. So absolutely, that's one of the reasons why we want to have you out there. Um, Excellent. Yeah, so that's neat. In terms of, you know, let's just talk more a little bit about um, core strengthening. When you, when, you, when you talk about core, give our listeners a little information. What do you mean by core? Yeah, um, that's good because a lot of people are kind of um, misunderstand what exactly the core entails. Mm -hmm. A lot of people think it's just the abdominal muscles, but really the core engages the whole core of your body. So kind of from your neck down to your hips and kind of like if you were to cut off your arms and legs, that kind of that whole mm -hmm. area, that's your, your whole center that's going to stabilize, you know, all your movements you do. Okay. So you need a strong core, so it incorporates right. your back muscles, your upper body, mm -hmm. torso muscles. Um, not so, not only just the abdominal muscles, Very but good. all those muscles surrounding, you know, especially, you know, nowadays so important people mm -hmm. have back problems. Right, and I see right. that a lot and lower back issues. You know, it's interesting. There was a study that just came out and I don't know, um, you know, the squat lift. Now there, there's a lot of comment about, you know, the squat lift being um, dangerous, actually, you know, causing micro tears and, and little, you know, perforations within the pars and the, you know, the, the what supports the, the whole vertebral uh, column. Hmm. And so we have to be very, very caref careful on proper technique. And, yeah. you know, that's why when you said you have a microphone and you're instructing proper technique, that's really, really important. Mm -hmm. And for those of you, again, in our program listening, the hospital program is intended toward wellness. We don't want to do things that are going to, you know, tear down the body and cause, you know, injury. And I think that's very, very important. Um, let me ask you a question. How many dance, to, you know, oftentimes translates into, you know, females. Do, do you get a lot of males in the class? You know, are there a lot of guys that come to the jazzercise class? Typically, it is uh, pretty much dominated with females. Mm -hmm. However, men are very welcome to come. Right. Men enjoy dancing just as well as women mm -hmm. do. And uh, when I do have guys come to class, they find it very physically challenging. Right, I'm sure they do. Uh, you know, women move differently physically than men. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just we're built differently. And uh, so I noticed that men really like to pump up the movements and right. have a great big range of motion and use heavy, heavy weights, which is great. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's great to see a guy come in class that has rhythm mm -hmm. and, and is just truly enjoying the music right. and living in the moment and having a good time. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. You know, my background is in the martial arts and in you know, sports and so forth. And I remember years ago, um, I took a ballet class. And in the ballet class, there, um, there was a, one of the Steeler football players. You know, Lynn Swan was actually taking ballet. Mm -hmm. And so there's a lot to say about fluidity of movement and, mm -hmm. and flexibility and all mm -hmm. of that. So that's and really neat. being in touch with your body. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, the, the, the control. Mm -hmm. yeah. Joe, another question. Uh, Marty from Anthem is 69 years of age, and she wants to know, is there any age requirements or restrictions on this? Good question. For jazzercise? Right, and you know what? It kind of ties into the next question, actually, from... Uh, Ronnie um, wants to know, are there different stages like beginner, intermediate, advanced? So there's two questions Good at once. Good question. Okay, those are great questions, <clears throat> and we get those all the time. Uh, when you come to Jazzercise, just know that it is all for all fitness levels and for all ages. Um, the, the students in my class are typically anywhere from 20s into their 70s. So you take it to your own personal fitness level. As an instructor, we're demonstrating high impact and low impact and certain ranges of motion. And we really are in tune with our customers and our students uh, to know, you know, we want them to feel successful. So we are cueing right. to them and we're, we're showing them how they can do movements um, successfully and get the benefits from the workout. Mm -hmm. So an example, in my mind, what I'm thinking, just for our listener, if you were, if you were doing a movement like steps, 
you know, and you can just kind of do it gently. Or if you wanted to bring it to a higher range, you can, you know, really bring your knees up. And so it, it, each individual can really monitor mm -hmm. whichever level they want to uh, engage in. Absolutely. Yeah, and that's really yep. neat. So you don't have to be an expert in a in a advanced class. So there's not really a beginner's class, intermediate, or an advanced class. Is that is that right? That's correct. Okay. Yep. That's good. That's yeah. good to know. Age wise, um, you said up into the 70s, mm -hmm. um, and I think you know really that that's great because you know we're really engaging in movement as medicine. It helps with balance and all of that. Um, so those of you listening, come on out and, and join us. I think yeah. it'd be great. Definitely, yeah, that's yeah. really really good. I've the had hardest. people as young. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I've had people as young as I just had an eighth grader come in as a, one of my customers whose niece she brought in, and she loves to to do it. And mm -hmm. she was so what, 13, 12, 13. So I was young, and I have in my classes um, up into their 70s. Yeah, right wow. now. And mm -hmm. I think I've had some a couple 80 year olds too. Mm -hmm. That just goes to show you if you stay young and you keep your movement, you know, you can be. You know, it's active. funny. I was talking to um, to a hairdresser not long ago, and they're finding that because of stress, a lot of a lot of people are complaining of hair loss. You know that stress really affects you know the hair and and you know and we were talking about checking other things like the thyroid and you know making sure that there's nothing metabolic um, and it's interesting that, that okay. she says that um, she oh, yeah. does dance and she oftentimes tells her clients that you know get into some either yoga or dance or something to help with you know movement because that helps increase circulation to the hair follicle and they find that that really helps with hair loss mm -hmm. so you know that's just another interesting mm -hmm. kind of tidbit that, that goes along with it when you have clients, do you do like a medical kind of screening if somebody has high blood pressure or if they're diabetic? Is that part of your assessment at all? We not? do. We have what's called a participation and authorization form, mm -hmm. which uh, everybody that walks in the door to Jazzercise will fill out this form. They're basic health questions. It's nothing intimidating. We just want to know generally, are you uh, in good health mm -hmm. to participate in the type of workout that we provide? And so from that information, we'll interact with you and say you had surgery on your shoulder and you can't do certain specific movements. What we'll do as an instructor is we'll, we'll visit with you and say, okay, today in class, we're going to be doing this type of movement, but for you, I want you to keep you know, your arm lower than your shoulder just because you told me a recent surgery and let's perfect. make sure that we don't uh, further injure you know, your shoulder and That's whatnot. That's perfect. So, yeah, that's yeah. a great... And yeah. this kind of uh, may have almost answered that question there. Becky from Tampa, Florida, 45 years old, said, I have bad knees. Is it a bad idea to try Jazzercise, or can you recommend something that's better? You know, uh, that that's an excellent question because so many people think that when you come to a Jazzercise class that you have to be jumping around, and that's not necessarily true. We, uh, as certified instructors, we're always providing a low-impact option, which means you work just as hard as if you were jumping around. We are emphasizing large range of motion movements. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you're gonna get uh, simply a great workout uh, doing low impact uh, versus high impact. However, we show and demonstrate both. And if you go to jazzercise.com to click on find a class, you can find several classes that offer only low impact. That's good. Yeah, that's, that's if that's what you're looking for. Do you, let me just ask you a question. Um, you know the ankle weights that they have out mm -hmm. there? Do you encourage that? Is that something that, you know, as a personal trainer or a dancer, um, is that something that you shy away from? Is there more injury affiliated with that? Or what's your personal thoughts about that? Uh, you know, I haven't, I traditionally haven't used really ankle weights. Mm -hmm. I know um, people who, who use them, like uh, for just walking around and mm -hmm. stuff. Um, there does provide some resistance and it, it depends on what you're training for and what your goal is. Um, we do use them sometimes in a jazzercise class, and mm -hmm. they're beneficial for that certain routine that we may be doing. Okay. But um, like as for all general uh, walking kind of purpose, I never really. I, I mean, I would think that like it would that. put a little bit of strain on the knee, and I would be very cautious, you know, something yeah. like that. I, I just it's did not that something was a movement you'd reg regularly do, like mm -hmm. if you're extending. You know, maybe if you're a soccer player, you're regular extending the knee. You know, you have your knee extension. But right. other than that, it wouldn't, tra I don't think, translate so much to everyday mm -hmm. normal people. So. Okay, very good. Um, hydration, huge topic. 
you know, we get it all the time. We've talked about it. Um, and here's our water. You know, it's 110 <laughs> degrees out. Um, do you, what do you tell your clients? I mean, do you have, you know, anything that you recommend, you know, when you're, when you're instructing for corporate uh, facilitators that you're instructing? What, what, what do you tell them? Well, it's always nice to have water at your sure. facility. Mm -hmm. um, it's important to bring water with you. And not only to bring water during class, it's important to hydrate prior to class and after class okay. mm -hmm. uh, because we are sweating we're losing a lot of that hydration so it's important to stay hydrated throughout the day right and that's important mm -hmm. and I think when we start advertising these classes that would be one of the things you know bring water mm -hmm. um, just to make sure that you have it you know I work out at a gym and um, and they have a, a water fountain but if I don't bring my bottle then I don't have anything there's no cups there and so, you, you know, sometimes you don't think about that. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, water is absolutely vital. The smart water, sometimes I talk about the electrolyte replacement, you know, mm -hmm. which is good mm -hmm. uh, as well. Um, stretching, flexibility. You know, as a dancer, I, you know, I told you before the show, and, I, and I'm, I'm going to say it so okay. that the listeners know, I think that, you know, if you look at all comers, you know, athletes and uh, people who do yoga, martial arts, the dancer... The, the endurance within the body of a dancer probably to me is the ultimate um, because it, you use every every muscle in the body mm -hmm. and and so I've always said that um, you know ballet dancers the muscles and, and the control is just unbelievable isometric isotonic movement I mean do you incorporate that in in, um, in the jazzercise and then we'll talk about also in your in your fitness training um, can you speak to that a little bit sure uh, you know every jazzercise class is going to have uh, different types of movements and uh, what that includes is kickboxing, Pilates, yoga, nice. uh, of course jazz dance. It's a fusion of you know cardio dance. Um, but what Sarah is talking about earlier as far as the leg weights and the arm weights, when we utilize the weights that's going to be during our strength portion of the class. So you, it's important that we're instructing our customers on where to hold the weight, where to place the weight, and Perfect. when to use a leg weight, say above your knee or around your ankle, or when to not use the weight. Because really, gravity works. And you know, if you just use gravity, sometimes you really just don't need to add that additional weight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. Do you have another comment, Joe? Uh, Sue from Plymouth, Massachusetts says, she's a jazzercise instructor. Um, she said it's also a great social function to get out of the house yes. several days a week. Just going to Jazzercise gets you mobile. Mm -hmm. She said, "Great show." Oh, oh wonderful! Cool. Thank, thank you so much. Thank yep. you. Cool. It is a large community of instructors. Uh, once you are in our world, um, it does create that camaraderie, and it creates friendships. Like for instance, this Thursday, all of our Jazzercise uh, customers we're going to get together and have um, a bowling event. Oh, so cool. we're going to go out and we're going to go bowling and just have some fun. Um, it's not just about jazzercise, but it does create that community environment. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. I know um, I encourage my customers to get together after class uh, at least one day a month to, you know, meet um, for breakfast and coffee, have, you know, coffee talk after after class. So it just creates a more of a, a bond between and a connection. So people want to have connections kind of in their life, and that just that fitness connection just helps them so to keep with it you know mm -hmm. it helps them stay with the program whereas so many people leave go to a gym and then leave after a month but there's no accountability there's no connection there so right. it, that that's another aspect you know of your fitness and zone. I think that the success would be you know just tremendous you know if you're trying to stay fit lose weight um, you know all those things mm -hmm. um, you know, just talking about success and, you know, as we get older in the perimenopausal time, you know, as females, um, there's some studies out showing that exercise tends to really help help with those hot flashes. And I don't know if, if that's something that you see in your training or if that's something that you speak to, but um, it is something that's important, I think, you know, being that most of your clients are women. I, do you do you see that or is that is that an issue that you deal with at all? Um. A lot of my clients, um, yeah, because they're kind of in that perimenopausal, the, the women I've had, and it, usually mm -hmm. that's when they come to start. Mm -hmm. They start coming to get a new workout. That you know, Losing weight isn't as easy anymore as it was right. in their 20s, and mm -hmm. all of a sudden they have to work at it. You, know, you realize your metabolism starts to slow when you get to 30, and then mm -hmm. so a lot of them are in that mid-30, late 30 range, and so they, you know... Um, come to class um, haven't they haven't had the hot flashes quite yet but they're realizing that 
everything's starting to slow down. Mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah, it does help them feel better, have more energy throughout the day. So they're, you know, able to focus at their job right, and, right. um, you know, continue to sleep better. So, so many benefits. A lot so. of times people think they could do it on their own, you know, and I think that community is so important. And, and that's what you're offering. That's what, you know, mm -hmm. that's what the Absolutely. Jazzercise community is all about. Well, it holds people accountable. So if your friends are going to class, then you're not there. You know, they're going to uh -huh. give you a call. Hey, where are you? Where you been? Very you nice. Know, check yeah. it in on each other. That's true. Mm -hmm. Very, very true. Joe, any other comments or questions? No, we're up to date right now. Okay. Okay, good. You know, um, when we talk about health, you know, there's different, you know, health is not just the absence of disease. It's really about being healthy mind, body, you know, all the aspects. And um, one of the things I want to kind of focus on as we move in our, in our program are d disease processes that we can impact with fitness. For example, diabetes. You know, diabetes is just an epidemic today, um, mm -hmm. you know, even in, in children. And exercise and dance and personal training, I think, is huge in terms of helping to connect and, and keep that glycemic control, that blood sugar. Um, are, you, are you guys doing anything in, in reference to that? Or I mean, you basically see everybody. But um, for diabetes, I think that that would be a huge uh, asset, you know, to those people. Any comments just about, you know, in general? Well, I happen to see a, a whole lot of health issues come in the door. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm certainly not, uh, I don't have a medical background, so I can't speak to any of that. Right. But my position um, is encouraging people to continue to stay healthy. Mm -hmm. And um, a, a lot of my customers will visit with me and talk about how they have stopped taking medication. Their blood pressure has gone down. Mm -hmm. They've lost weight. You know, uh, they've built muscle, they've built their endurance, and, you know, all of those things are sort of subsiding because they are part of a fitness program right. um, that works. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, um, I see, you know, people with um, various um, ailments, and uh, one thing I encourage that I think is a, a kind of over overlooked or people don't realize that um, it kind of it, it, everything – there's different aspects of fitness, so it's not just your exercise, but exercise may be, you know, 20 percent, but 80 percent is nutrition and mm -hmm. how they eat and what they put in their body. And I'm a big proponent of eating um, healthy and whole foods and, uh, you know, just so what we buy in the store nowadays isn't the same, but that you know, just to have a balance between the two and people say, OK, I'm just going to, you know, go work out and so many days a week, right. but then they don't do the nutrition aspect or mm -hmm. they just do the nutrition now, I'm going to go on this crash diet and it's hardly any calories but then they're not going to work out so it's really it, it, it comes down to a combination of you have to have both and it's they're equally as important mm -hmm. actually and um, you can't have one without the other if you really want and it takes work it's not right. something that's going to happen I'm glad you, you said know. that because that is so vital it's, a, it's really balanced about what you put into your body is, is important and now we know um, it's not just something that, that we think is good. You know, it's not something that, you know, they used to say is good, exercise is good for you. We have evidence now, clear evidence that exercise, movement, nutrition, fresh fruits and vegetables, um, you know, those kinds of things actually prevent some cancers, you know, and, and that's really huge. Um, and so that's why I think it's so important to have a prescription for exercise, a prescription for jazzercise. Yeah, you I know? like that. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. I mean, if we could only yeah, mm -hmm. promote could, that. <laughs> right. If we could start writing prescriptions, that would be great. Wouldn't that yeah. be cool? Yeah. Maybe you know, we'll start the, doing the that. hardest thing is to, to walk in the door or start any fitness program. Mm -hmm. If you're going to do something, say, with Sarah, like a boot camp, um, the hardest part is getting started. Right. After you do your first class or your first session, mm -hmm you're gonna feel so much better. You're gonna feel accomplished. Then you attend your second, your third, and so on and so forth. And you're gonna see the results. You're gonna feel the results. And like I said, you know, Sarah was talking earlier about how much weight that she had to lose after having children. I also had the same experience. I had two kids and boy, I had uh, 75 pounds that I really needed to shed. And it was important because walking was not enough. I needed something to get my heart rate up, and I needed to. Yep, I needed mm -hmm. to incorporate uh, weight training, and so with Jazzercise, I did both. And my first class, I'll tell you, it just about killed me. 
And I said, I don't think I'm ever coming back. That's but really I did. good to hear. <laughs> but I did. And, you know, we're real. We're, we're humans. We understand how hard it is to start a fitness program. And uh, once you start and get started, you're just going to feel great. Mm-hmm. And there's a, there's a, I don't want to use the word addictive, but there's a potential that you become addicted to it. You know, yes. you, once you we start oh, feeling yeah. good, you become yeah. addicted to feeling good. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I really think there's a chemical basis for that, that the brain releases endorphins and, you know, the serotonin and the dopamine that's released. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and I'm sure you see that. We see it and we feel it. Yeah, Yeah. I think in our students, too, I can Mm -hmm. see it. You know, you can see their faces change. Like, they go in there, they might have stress and all these things on their mind, and I know I'm the same way. And then once I get started, and I might have a million things on my mind that I'm stressed about, and then once I get started, it just, like, all goes away, and it's focused, and you're having fun, and everything else falls away. And that's, you know, one of our other goals with, you know, Jazzercise and with um, boot camps and everything Mm -hmm. is just to that is your time you know that hour is is just focused on you and not to think about anything else what you're doing be present in the moment so i think that helps a lot of people insomnia is big you know a lot of people have a hard time sleeping with stress and all of that and i would think i know for me when i have a good workout i sleep like a baby you know and and i'm sure a lot of people experience that as well um the one question that i often get from people is you know is it is there a time in the day that's maybe too late to really do cardio or jazzercise because it will kind of get you up and, you know, then they have a hard time sleeping? So, I mean, is that an issue that you find, you know, to have class in the evening and then it's hard to come down from that high to, to really sleep? Is that, is that an issue or not? I'll, I'll answer this. Okay. I think it varies um, from person to person mm-hmm. on how their clock works because I've had people who say, oh, I can't work out in the evening. I, I'll wound up the rest of the night. So right. I think it's, it's their body's own chemistry. Um, cause, and then some people will say, oh, no, pff, that knocked me out and I'm <laughs> good. So I think it varies between that's, person that's to person. Sure. And okay. Do it how you feel is best. So if you're a morning exerciser then and you feel like you've got energy the rest of the day, then work out in the morning, get it in first thing in the morning. I know that's how I am. Get yeah. it in first thing in the morning because mm-hmm. right. by the evening I'm done. Right. I'm exhausted. And you know, interesting, a lot of people don't know, you know, themselves well enough to know that. Mm-hmm. And so I think that might be the first thing is to try it out, experiment with it, go to a morning class, maybe, you know, an mm-hmm. evening class and see what works best. Um, and we're going to be offering classes both in the morning and in the evening for the two different shifts in the hospital. So it might be a good time to, to check that out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good. Rodney from Apache Junction would like to know if uh, if he goes to Jazzercise, do they or do you recommend a nutritional program as well upon starting the program? You know, there's nutrition information on jazzercise.com. Uh, we don't specifically provide nutrition information. I think that would be best uh, done with uh, somebody that's in that field. Uh, we provide the exercise program, but we do uh, have articles on fitness and nutrition on the website. Very good. And as we extend this program that we have specific for the for the staff, um, you know, we have nutritionalists. We have that information. So, you know, eventually, Rodney, if you're interested in, you know, joining the wellness program that, you know, eventually we're going to offer to the community, you know, we'll have that information already uh, for diabetics, for hypertensive patients, for cardiac patients. <clears throat> Um, you know, we try to cover that gamut. Um, I like to kind of focus on more disease-specific, you know, specificity and tailoring it for, you know, people that have a specific condition. Um, and I think that works really well. And then that way that there's a support group with it. If you have a people that all have fibromyalgia mm-hmm. that are doing exercise, maybe we can gear toward a stretching, mm-hmm. you know, and a nutritional thing for that. So that's my goal in terms of really trying to tailoring it uh, in a support group fashion. And that's important. Uh, there's other programs within Jazzercise that provide uh, more flexibility. Uh, there's personal touch classes, which is more like a personal training in a small group. It's a non-intimidating environment mm-hmm. where it's really tailored to what your body can handle. And um, it's more about strength training um, rather than uh, doing the dance cardio. Right. Um, so, you know, with that type of class, yeah. we're, we're a little bit more in touch with what people can handle and, and sure. what ailments that they might have, mm-hmm. and uh, we, we help them along the way in that type of class. Right. Just to give our, our viewers just an, a little um, idea, there's you know anaerobic exercise and aerobic exercise. 
and you know there's repetition and okay. you know and I'm sure you can speak to that mm -hmm. um, where a lot of times it's not about the weight but it's more about the repetition mm -hmm. to really bring and introduce more endurance into the muscle mm -hmm. you know Sarah do you want to speak to that as a personal trainer yeah what I do what I like to do is when I have a new client I like to first find out you know besides all the you know medical forms and those tests is kind of uh, evaluate ask them what are they really looking for in the exercise program what is their ultimate goal mm -hmm. because everybody's goal may be different some people might just be oh you know to tone up and some might be I really I need strength training I want to be stronger for such and such so right. um, so we really I try to uh, tailor it to them because your endurance training is different you're doing more reps at a lighter weight if you're looking for really muscle definition you're working on hypertrophy of the muscles then you really want you know a heavier weight mm -hmm. and then on that 10th or 12th rep that's the final one you can't do anymore so um, so it kind of depends on what they're looking for mm -hmm. you know everybody's different and depends ultimately what their goal is so so it is gonna um, vary based I on would think for the needs. most part most people want um, just general toning, fitness, mm -hmm. you know, uh, good looking muscles, less fat, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. And, and so I think there's a combination of resistance training with, with high, you know, high mm -hmm. rep. Yeah, that's interesting. Peggy from Gilbert says, how much does it cost? That's a good question. For jazzercise? Uh, there's uh, different prices at each facility. Um, they range from, uh, usually it's monthly tickets and we do have pricing options. So uh, if you go to jazzercise.com and click on find a class, uh, you'll be able to plug in your city or your zip code. And then once that happens, you'll have uh, some jazzercise facilities within your area. And once you click on which facility is closest to you, it'll bring up all the pricing and specials that we have. Typically, it's about anywhere from 25 to $40 per month. And that's usually with unlimited classes. So it's, it's Excellent pricing. Yeah, when, you, very when, you, when you look it up on the jazzercise.com, is it going to be basically a mixture of personal studios like, like karate studios and then gyms that offer it? And I mean, there's just a yes. wide variety of different we types all, we, of places. Yep, absolutely. There are jazzercise centers that offer jazzercise, uh, you know, 40 times a week. And there's also jazzercise dance studios uh, and fitness studios that offer jazzercise classes, say, just in the morning. Are there people yeah. that want to hire you just to do private jazzercise? Like, you go to their house and do it? It's a good no. question. I was thinking that. No. For personal training, there would be, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But for jazzercise, it's more of a group setting, and that defines it. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's that's interesting. Um, just to answer that question for our staff, there's no there's no cost. You know, we basically provide that for the staff, so there's no charge. As we extend it out to the community, I'm not sure how that's going to work. Honestly, there may be a small fee, mm -hmm. you know, five dollars a class or something for the you know community people who are not employees of the hospital. Uh, but I guarantee you, it will be something that is very very reasonable. You know, three to five dollars a class. I mean, nothing nothing too crazy. Um, mainly because we just want to get you in there to, to, to get the benefit so that we can keep people healthy. And, and I think that's really huge. Great. Yeah. Very good. Um, any other, anything else you have there going on? Okay. Um, any other, anything else that you guys want to talk about or, you know, as we're, as we're just bringing some, some thoughts? Yeah, you know what, one thing I wanted to go back on, um, you were talking earlier about technique and muscle tears and mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I, I did want to mention that, yeah, when I do, like, for personal training, I train somebody, I don't start them off, let's max out the weight and let's do that. You right. know, let's, let's do this if we're going to do this, no pain, no gain. Mm -hmm. um, so really kind of, it depends on their fitness level. I mean, if they're going from a couch potato barely and barely walking and mm -hmm. they're having a hard time breathing, you know, after walking for five minutes. I mean, it's going to be very light because they're not going to require much um, to start to get into shape. I mean, they might do um, a few squats and they're, you know, they're tired without any weight. So a lot of the, the beginning, so for somebody who's beginning, you know, probably no resistance at all and just their body weight and gravity will right. do the Using trick. a chair, you know, using different exactly. things to help, you know, hold on, hold on to and all of that, right? Yeah, so mm -hmm. so it's really, and I do like to focus on technique and this probably has come from jazzercise specifically because dance is so, um, you know, specific and we talk about technique and ki uh, kinesiology and the mind and the muscle 
you know, matching Connection. up, you know, mm-hmm. exactly. So, so that is important because sometimes, you know, we look out there and somebody new and they don't realize where their arms are going. And so we want to bring that mind awareness. Okay. Think about, okay. So we cue them, tell them, you know, tip over from the hip, you know, contract these muscles, do certain things. So, cause that's um, the number one thing is we want to keep people healthy and keep coming back and not to be injured because then right. they're, you know, that doesn't benefit us. Um, and it doesn't benefit them. So I've talked to many people that have gone to other group fitness classes that I don't think their focus is on technique, and a lot of them come back with knee injuries. And I, I just talked to somebody, a friend the other day, who had started a new group fitness class. It wasn't jazzercise, but, and she had a knee injury from that because mm. so, they don't focus. So that's what's good about jazzercise. And, um, you know, what I like to do is really focus on technique because above all else you have to think about safety absolutely you know jazzercise some people think well is it all jazz you know jazz music is that but you said you do kickboxing and right and so it's really a, a, a combination of different movement it um, is it's a different combination of movements um it is uh, a, a lot of fun because we have different music genres That's so, what was, so it's not just yep. jazz it's not just jazz okay and mm-hmm. uh, we'll have uh We'll have J Lo, we have Madonna, we have Enrique Iglesias, we mm-hmm. have Michael Bublé, and you know all of the hottest music that you're going to hear on the radio. Nice. It's in your jazzercise class, and it's not all hip hop and it's not all rap. Um, there's a great variety. There, we've got some country routines that are always a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Um, so it it's it's a great variety so that we could reach to everybody. It's that's, not just one awesome. specific style of mu- music mm-hmm. you know just talking about our program um let's let's just kind of give a little idea of what all we're going to be offering um, i know we're in the mindset of trying to create uh, different boot camps and yoga let's just talk about some of the special classes that maybe you're going to help facilitate bringing into the gilbert and uh, florence wellness programs okay we're really excited to incorporate classes in the wellness centers and i just think that is wonderful that you have created this environment for the employees to have a place to come to that is certainly affordable because it's free right. and it is such a huge benefit for the employees uh, so the type of classes that we're looking forward to incorporating are boot camp with personal training. Let's talk yep. about what's boot camp. Define that. Because <laughs> um, that, that sounds scary to some people. Yeah, and yeah, I realize that does. And um, so I, I do take some of the techniques that, um, you know, coming in that some of these people may have never done mm-hmm. uh, any kind of fitness before. So so I keep that in mind. And, you know, every exercise can be tailored to the, to their movement. So a lot of it is, you know, um, body weight exercises, kind of a circuit style. We do different exercises. I like to hit every um, major muscle group. Um, and still everything focuses, everything, every exercise has core involved. So it's a lot of functional movement. So maybe a squat, maybe a squat without any weight, maybe, you know, mm-hmm. just, um, push just up, their own body ups. weight, push-ups, mm-hmm. sit-ups. So they can always modify um, whatever movement there is. Um, so and you're, yeah, that and, and jump you're like rope. a drill. You, you know, you're like a sh- sergeant drill, kind of coaching them mm-hmm. on. Is that right? Um, sometimes, okay, yeah. Good. I try not to be mean, but okay. um, she's gentle. <laughs> yeah, good. And most of my uh, clients have said, yeah, you're so nice, but you still right. kick our butt. So, <laughs> and that's what we want, right? Yeah, exactly. So it's a kind of a circuit. I usually traditionally I set up a circuit, and um, you know we may go into you know. 30 to 30 minute 30 seconds to a minute for lunges and then go on to um medicine ball slams and then you know go and it's on time. to jump rope yeah so it the way it's set up and just having more people multiple people and less equipment mm-hmm. we can just run through it um quicker you know so and then as they go along we can incorporate as their their endurance um gets better and their um their muscle um range increases everything mm-hmm. we can incorporate more plyometrics and stuff so to really kick up their their um training so and okay. more interval i, I kind of right. like to mix it up and it just depends you know what level if everybody's at the beginning we'll just do a lot of basics we st- we go over when i start a new session it's like mm-hmm. okay we, let's go over the basics technique lunges squats you Perfect. know all that so we okay. got a good baseline so that's the, so what else so oh. we have the bootleg, the, uh, the the boot camp, the bootleg, the boot camp. What else do we are we going to be offering? We have we have boot camp classes. Well, we're also offering a personal touch training by Jazzercise, and what that is is a small group 
of, of individuals. Mm. And um, in that environment, it's similar to the sort of circuit environment where we use resistance bands, the ball, handheld Perfect. weights. We do lunges across the floor. Um, but it's more tailored to what um, the individual can handle. Mm -hmm. But um, also we want to push them a little bit and get them out of their comfort zone just slightly so that they can obtain uh, what their fitness goals are. And uh, during that type of environment, we're also educating them on posture, body alignment, and how to get the most out of your workout. Excellent. And uh, so we have those classes. We're also looking forward to yoga. Yoga is going to be coming in August. We're going to have those a couple times a week. A lot of uh, people like the yoga, the stretching um, for the mind and the body. Um, let's see, what else? What other classes are we going to have? We've got... Zumba, is Zumba going to be coming on? Is that something, or is that pretty much, uh, I think Jazzercise has that dance category pretty much tied up, right? Well, we hope so. We, we, we like Jazzercise. Mm -hmm. I think people like Jazzercise uh, because it incorporates not only the dance and the cardio, but with all, within that 60 minutes, you're also going to get, you know, the strength training. Okay, right. Which I don't think Zumba offers. Yeah, I um, don't know. In a regular sure, class. But. And the, the um, variety of music, so it's not mm -hmm. just a Latin-based. Mm -hmm. we got Latin, we got lots of other Very stuff. Very nice. So. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. good. Very good. Uh, Maribel from Minneapolis, Minnesota, used to do jazzercise, then was in an accident, and now is in a wheelchair. So the jazzercise instructor put together a handicap jazzercise class where they do it in the pool, wow. and she said they love it. Wonderful. Wonderful. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That is really cool. I, I have a younger brother that is in a wheelchair, and uh, he had um, a swimming accident. And so every day of my life, I think about how fortunate we are uh, that we're walking and we're moving. And since we have this healthy body, we might, might as well utilize it you know, um, and, and just never take it for granted. And I think that is so special that that instructor has come up with that type of class for somebody who had such a terrible accident. And, um, you know, all of the things that somebody would love to do, they're confined to a wheelchair. Uh, you know, life doesn't stop if you're in a wheelchair. And I just, I just think that's highly motivating. That's, that's awesome. awesome. Yeah. That is that really is fantastic. Thank you, Mary Bell. Yeah, Mary Bell. Water, aqua therapy. Is that something that um, you know that you incorporate at all in, in your in your practice? I know from a physical therapy perspective, you know people that have you know lumbar disc disease or that are you know looking at maybe surgery, we recommend water because it really takes gravity out of the picture, mm -hmm. and um, and it allows you to get that range of motion and so forth. Any anything from from your not experience? A, not specifically with Jazzercise. I know that at our larger conventions, mm -hmm. uh, we do offer multiple types of classes so uh, say for instance we're going to have a conference here in palm springs which literally thousands of people come together and enjoy wow. different types of classes and one of those classes would be water aerobics mm -hmm. so yeah you know but we just don't certainly have it here um, and certainly it's not part yeah. of our programming you know right. um, because we don't have a pool at the hospital although that would be nice it would be very yeah. very nice yeah, yeah that's good good um we're almost out of time. We just have, you know, a few more minutes to kind of wrap things up. And um, what would you say, just for our listeners that are home, you know, let's say uh, some of the elderly people that are, that are home that are in a chair and a, um, that are not active, what would you say would be some of the things that they could start doing, maybe to start getting motivated? Because movement is motiv motivation in and of itself. You know, movement itself kind of causes dopamine to go up, serotonin to go up, and then it, and then it just facilitates itself. Any, anything that you can tell them to start doing at home in terms of, you know, maybe just up and down, stepping, what, what kind of things would you recommend? Anything? I would say first, uh, get in a mindset. Decide for yourself what type of uh, physical fitness that you want to participate in and go for it. You know, uh, it could only make you more healthy. Um, if there's types of movements that you can do at home, uh, we offer Jazzercise DVDs that you can start at home if you Excellent. feel more comfortable uh, getting used to the program, getting um, familiar with the movements that we do in class. And then once you reach that level, it doesn't matter what you look like or how you move. It's the important thing is that you're moving and that you're actually doing something with your body. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so very good. And then um, the only other thing I'd add to that is that would really help with motivation is um, find a support support system. So find a buddy to work out with or something, somebody that you're accountable to because that sometimes makes all the difference in sticking with the program and not. So that's why Jazzercise is so so great because you have that support system. You have other people there. So sometimes mm-hmm. when you do it alone, it's just... You know, there's nobody there to push you just a little bit. So you right. have to find that motivation wherever you can. That's so. neat. Very good. You know, I want to share with you just something that I've that I've kind of developed over the years. Um, and I don't know that there's really anything out there um, other than the Science You Know program that I've developed. And I don't know if you really know what, what that is. I don't know if I've shared it with you. Uh, but for the listeners out there that um, that know, um, I want to kind of introduce something that I that I termed Science You Know. And similar to like a Tai Chi-like movement exercise, where instead of just random arm movements or, you know, just kind of flowing movements, to bring intention to it and use sign gesture to literally take an affirmation or a word or a prayer or whatever and, and make that come alive in movement by signing the words in movement and then tying it to breath and bringing music into it. Mm-hmm. And so it's almost like a floor pattern. You, you know, you know what a floor pattern is when you know if, if you've seen a, a, a kata in, in the martial arts or a gymnastic floor exercise, where you have, um, you know, the serenity prayer, for example, and then you learn the sign gesture of every word in it, and you move your entire body to define that. It becomes a great exercise for both the mind and the body. I can and, imagine it would. And it's called yeah. science you know, and, and I've been kind of, you know, dealing and 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 facilitating and creating that for the past, you know, ten years or so. So when you say it's important to engage your mind, it's really more about filling the mind and not emptying the mind, mm-hmm. you know, and not just mindless kind of exercise, but really be intent on posture, on movement, um, on proper, you know, because that's very, very important. Um, and so maybe we can incorporate the Science Chido program as one of our, Would love to. you wow, know, as yeah. one of our mm-hmm. um, special, you know, uh, six-week classes mm-hmm. or whatever that we do. Joe, mm-hmm. do you have another question? Uh, yes, Raina from Phoenix says she is 200-plus pounds overweight, wants to start a program, but barely gets around. Do I dare try Jazzercise? You know, I would say, I would say, you know, go for it. Um, I've had people who have been um, overweight who have come to class, and, you know, they may be able to only do certain things. I know I've had... Um, you know, one student who uh, wasn't able to do a lot of the movements, but she was still able to move some, and um, she enjoyed the music, so she enjoyed coming to class, <laughs> enjoyed herself, and then as she got, uh, you know, more a little bit more physically fit, um, she was able to move more and do the movements better, and even other students noticed. They're like, wow, wow. she's, yeah, really... Um, really improved you know so um so yeah it just takes like a baby step it's all mm-hmm. starts there so i would recommend it to anybody any body shape any size it, it's good for absolutely her. i mean it'll impact every aspect of her life to just come in even yes. just start moving just start kind of you know swaying back and forth to the music would be a first step mm-hmm. you know and another thing to add to that is if you came to a jazzercise class we have information for you to Watch, you know, get the information that you need, watch the class, and you know, soak up that environment. And if you have additional questions, you can provide that information to your physician and yes. let them know, hey, is, or, am I physically capable to do this type of strenuous exercise? And take it from there. Mm-hmm. And like Sarah said, it's, it's like baby steps. You have to just start. And once you start, you're going to put a smile on your face and your body's going to feel good. It might be in a little bit of a pain, a little yeah. soreness from yeah. time to time, <laughs> yeah. and that's okay because you're pushing your body, you know, to different limits. Right, and toxins are getting, you know, getting mm-hmm. moved, and it's just, it's amazing. The skin is better. Mm-hmm. You think more clearly. Your digestive system is much better. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, obviously your heart, it's a great exercise to maintain and, and increase blood flow to the heart muscle, to, to feed the heart muscle, bring nourishment to it. Um, the muscles in your body to help with, you know, toning and, and all of that. Um, so, yes, I, I would encourage anybody to, uh, to movement. That's huge. Yeah. I think we have one more okay. question, and then we'll, um, we'll wrap up here. This has been a great, great show, great insight. Um, I can't wait to come to the Jazzercise class. Good. we will we'll be, be excited good. to have you. Great. Joe, do you have a... Uh, Celia from uh, Casa Grande. Uh, wants to know if she needs a uh, physician to sign off. She's had heart problems in the past, 
or can she just show up and and try it i would say get talk to your physician you know if you have uh, certain medical issues it is so important to talk to your physician because they're in tune with your body and uh, they know your medical history and before you start any type of vigorous exercise I believe getting a note from your doctor would definitely be advised. And when you offer this, the wellness program at the hospital, will that be something that people have access to? It is. And what we're doing is, we were talking about it earlier, uh, something called Fit Exam. And for those of you out there listening, um, if you don't have insurance, uh, it is something that we're making very, very affordable where you come in and we do a comprehensive physical fitness exam, um, including obviously the physical exam, your blood pressure, the body mass index is assessed, um, they're strengthening, but more than that you get an electrocardiogram, so we're looking at the EKG, the heart, blood work, um, a comprehensive blood panel looking at the thyroid, the liver, the kidney, you know, all of that. Um, you get a hearing test, which I think is important, wow. a, a visual test, you know, um, and so if you're interested, uh, you know, please let us know. Fit exam is really what we're looking at, and um, it's affiliated with the Gilbert Hospital and Florence Hospital at Anthem. So, um, you know, you can, you know, catch us on Facebook or you can, you know, call uh, 480-840-3755. That's the number to our wellness. Um, So please, if you're interested, let us know. We would love to. We also take all insurances. You know, so if you if you don't have a doctor, let's say you're a snowbird. We have a lot of snowbirds out here, you know, in the in the wintertime. And you want to come into one of our classes, jazzercise classes or exercise classes, um, and you have a history it's probably a good idea to check your blood pressure, you know, or, you know, get a physical exam and, and we're extending that out. So we'll talk a little bit more about that in the future, but that's a really good question. And your answer was right on. Um, check with your doctor, make sure that you have somebody um, just to make sure that things are, you know, safe, um, you know, to get into a physical fitness exercise program. Or make sure you go to the class Dr. Borick's in. This right. Is, this is true. <laughs> yes. So you'll be covered. Well, we, I can call nine one one just like anybody right, else. Right. <laughs> so anyway, God forbid we don't want any of that kind of stuff happening. Okay, good. Well, we're going to wrap it up. Anything else? Anything else that you want to share with us, or um, before we close, we just have a couple minutes left. Well, we just want to thank you for allowing us to come on this program. Um, it's been a great experience. Um, obviously, we're we're very excited about health and fitness, and we're. We're also very excited to incorporate classes in the wellness centers that you provide. And uh, we love jazzercise, we love fitness, and, and uh, we're just happy to be a part of it. I mean, you can see us. it, you, you know, you can see it. You, you walk the walk, you know, you're, mm-hmm. you're, you're doing what you say is important to do. And that's mm-hmm. very, very, that's, that brings credibility to what we're talking about. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I think you see it in every a jazzercise class you go to. You see instructors that love it and they teach it because they, they just love it so much they want to be up there so that mm-hmm. translates to the students and how how fun it is so right. yeah we wouldn't be doing that for this long if we didn't like it that's <laughs> awesome very good well thank you guys for being here thank you thank you joe anything else nope okay well that well, great, that wraps uh, great up show our, our class just a couple things i want to um those of you listening please if you haven't go to our facebook page and like us um you know we have a lot of stuff going on we have a website doctalkradio.com and all of our shows, we basically have on a doc, uh, it's called Doc Talk One, it's a YouTube channel. And so um, check it out because, you know, we excerpt them, they're little snippets of um, information from all, we have over, over 200 uh, videos now on the YouTube channel. Wow. So if you want to hear about, you know, just, um, you know, like uh, diabetes or cataracts or, I mean, we've had cardiologists and all kinds of different specialties, um, check it out because there's some really good information there. Um, and then in the future, we have uh, some people lined up that I think are going to be, you know, continue to tune in, and I think it'll be great. Is there a Doc Talk Twitter people can follow you on now? You know what? There is. There is. We do have a Doc Talk Twitter, and I know your tw- the, the Twitter, the KQCK. Mm-hmm. Um, you have how many followers? There's like a hundred, hundred thousand plus. Wow! Just blowing up. It's unbelievable. I didn't even know. Isn't that's that a, the funny part? It's amazing. <laughs> it really is amazing what's going on. Um, those of you listening local, we're going to be doing um, a show. We have casino night coming up, Joe, right? That would be the 28th. Mm-hmm. The 28th. Saturday night uh, in Florence. 
And what my, hopefully we're going to be there talking and bringing some of the physicians from the hospital to staff just so there's a meet and greet so that you can put a face to the surgeon or to the cardiologist and the people that are, you know, there. So, um, and if you are a business, you can go out there, you can network, you can check out a lot of local businesses that's put, being put on by uh, the Florence Chamber of Commerce and, of course, uh, the hospitals here. Um, uh, Dr. Bork's hospitals are um, a sponsor, and we are as well. KQCK will be out there broadcasting for you that night yeah our ceo david will be there nice. um, so if you're local join us i think it'll be fun it's a, a casino night so that'll be that'll be kind of fun all right thank you guys for listening we'll see you next week why is it so hot in this room yet cold in other rooms there's got to be a solution. You need to call the company for your comfort. Servicing residential and commercial AC, heating, refrigeration, and low temp. For Your Comfort LLC is the company that makes you comfortable. This concludes Doc Talk Radio with Dr. Ann Boric. Till next time, I wish you health, wellness, and many blessings. Doc Talk Radio is brought to you by Gilbert Hospital and Florence and Anthem Hospitals. Topics discussed are for informational and not intended to substitute advice from your personal physician.